All right, sun substitution time. So, as everyone knows, Gaius Cradle is one of the most powerful cards ever printed. It makes more mana than just about anything. You can do incredibly broken things with it in Commander, and yet it costs roughly a billion dollars. So this week on Sun Substitution, if you've never listened before, what we do is we take that expensive card, Gaius Cradle, and give you some budget alternatives. So cards that can make you a bunch of mana can at least try to approximate what a Cradle can do if you don't have the $300 to drop on one. So uh, I'll go ahead and jump in first here. And I actually wasn't aware of this card. We were talking about it before the cast, but uh, this card seems great for this. Sentinel Hierophants. It's a rare from Urza Saga, which is Urza's Gears, for those following along at home. And it's $2. It's a four mana, three, two green creature. Uh, but it gives each creature you control, tap, add one green to your mana pool. So, you know, it's, it's, it's not one land or one permanent tapping for all that mana, but it is netting you the same amount of mana in the end. Now, obviously, ideally, you a deck that wants to run something like this, you'd run it in both, or you run this in an elf ball deck if you have a bunch of elves that don't naturally make mana, things like that. But it's a $2 card that if you're trying to go big with mana in green, can get the job done. And if you're writing an article and you're like, this card's on the reserved list, and you're like, no, you know what? I'm going to check. So you open up the reserved list, you control F, and you type in Sentinel, and it comes up. You're like, yeah, <laughs> Sentinel, it's on the reserved list. And then you write your article. Someone's like, Sentinel Centaurs is on the reserved list, you idiot. And I'm like, the 6 3 Centaur with Echo is on the reserve list, and Hierophants isn't. And they're like, yeah. Yeah, and you got Then you're like, all right, I got got. You got blown out, buddy. Jason, I what got up? Control, I got control F'd. <laughs> what is your pick for uh, <laughs> for this sudden substitution, though, for Guy's Cradle? Uh, this is a card that I've been um, really big on for a long time. It's got a lot of utility and a lot of creatures lately, like Sedona and uh, Zyrus are making all mad mm -hmm. tokens for us. I like Cryptolith Rite, which is a poor man's Earthcraft. But um, unlike in the case of Earthcraft, where like if you have no lands, you can still tap your creatures for mana, um, this uh, just... You know, lets you tap your creatures for mana. It does not work as well with Squirrel Nest as Earthcraft does, but it doesn't cost seventy dollars like Earthcraft does. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not only is this a, a, a cheap substitution for something like Earthcraft that people insist they need, this is a, a cheap substitution for something like Gaius Cradle. You're getting mana equal to the number of creatures you've got, provided you're willing to tap them. But in a Gaius Cradle deck, like you're getting mana equal to the number of creatures you have because you have lots of creatures and they're probably tokens like yeah. You're not like, I ah, have 45 copies of yeah. a 10 10 creature. It's you'll like, be able to tap enough creatures to play your crater hoof and probably still have lethal, you know? And yeah, yeah. it's easy to untap Gaius Cradle, you know, and just tap it again, but it's easy to untap all your creatures too. <laughs> also true. All right, DJ, what so, do you got? Uh, mine is probably the closest thing we've ever gotten to a Cradle reprint. It is yeah. in, printed in Ixlon and Growing Rights of Itlamok. This card actually used to be even cheaper than it is. I love it this used one. to be only like a three or four dollar card. It is up to around 13. And I still think it even goes up from here. So if you're looking to pick one up, if you're looking to pick up a substitution for Cradle, I think this is a card you pick up now because it is on something I call the pseudo reserve list, and that it is not impossible to reprint. It's just very, very difficult. Yep. Uh Growing Rights is an enchantment, but it flips into a Gaia's Cradle after you meet the condition of having four or more creatures in play. And then it does Gaia's Cradle things. It's even better. It's actually better, right? Because unlike Cradle, it can tap for one green mana if you have no creatures. That it that is true. Yeah. It is it is also just a generic forest if you uh if you just got Wrath of God it. Yeah. So I, uh, I love this card. I mean you when it comes into play, you gotta look at the top four, get a creature. It's just uh -huh. a neat value card that occasionally does really broken things. I not love even it. occasionally, just usually does. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right. And but, I mean, it, this is it a plays that... a lot different, but like it's it's good in its own way too. So. Yeah. So a lot of people is... run both if they have a cradle. Yeah, this is a card I think goes to 20 eventually too, just because Probably. of how difficult it is to reprint and how high the demand is for this kind of effect. Yeah, it's and great. we talk about that whole cycle, you know, all the cards in there. Search for Ascanta. Yeah. yeah. Um, so. Arguel's Bloodfast. Bloodfast, Vance's not blasting great. Cannons. I'm trying to, because yeah, Vance's Blasting Cannons. Doesn't Bloodfast, cannons. you have to go to five life or something like What's that? What's the white one? Flip? What's the white one? Legion Landing. Legion Landing. Oh, Legion Landing, that's right. Yep, yep, yep. It's not great anymore, but it used to be. Right hey, that card's standard. sweet. That card's cool. It's still played in uh, historical, I believe. 